All right, guys, welcome to our first episode in our retro gaming adventures. In this first video, I want to cover a uh, adventure that I took on with uh, Sir Koga Ninja Crew, if anyone knows who that is. Um, I found through Craigslist uh, in the area that he was living a guy that was selling two uh, retro Pentium 3 PCs for about 30 bucks a piece, which included you know, a full working computer, uh, monitor, keyboard, mouse, etc. So I PayPal'd Koga, Koga some money and uh, talked him into going over and picking them up from the guy. And then he kept one for himself and then he shipped one to me uh, here where I'm at in a different part of the U.S. Uh, it took a while to make everything happen. Uh, there were some little bumps and bruises along the way, but in the end everything worked out okay and I wanted to make a video to kind of show kind of what's possible still in 2020 with retro gaming hardware so without further ado I want to go ahead and you know turn this system on and boot it up for you guys and kind of show you what we got going on here and please bear with me I have to uh, do the computer one-handed and hold the phone with one hand so uh, I appreciate your patience uh, but first, let's go into the BIOS here and see what we got going on. Takes it a minute to uh, check the RAM to make sure that the RAM is good. Do its uh, post system checks that it does after the motherboard boots up for the first time. And then we should be able to get into the BIOS here. All right, so if we take a look at the summary here of what we got, we got ourselves a Pentium 3 533 MHz with L2 system cache with 512 megabytes non-ECC RAM, 133 MHz bus speed, an NVIDIA video card, a floppy drive, an 80 gigabyte ID hard drive, and etc. We escape out of here, go down to product data, we can see that this system is running Flash EEPROM version, so this is like the BIOS version number 41. On this system, BIOS 42 was actually the newest BIOS created around September 2002, but you can see we're running the next to the most recent one from July 2002, and I cannot find BIOS version 42 for this system online anywhere. If someone knows where I might be able to get my hands on this for an IBM um, 300 GL 6563 BIOS version 42 please let me know and I'll uh, load that on there and see what we got going on all right but let's go ahead and exit out of here and show you guys this systems boot up and on this system we've got Windows 98 installed I've done some customizations to it which I'll show you guys yeah, we got some custom boot logos, custom shutdown menus, and some other fun stuff. Windows 98 was a real fun operating system to where what it allowed you to do was it allowed you to kind of run a version of DOS and a version of Windows on the same machine and switch back and forth between them, which I'll show you here in just a moment. But uh, we did a couple upgrades on this machine. Let me talk about that while we're booting up. I was able on eBay to source some new kind of unopened still inbox components from IBM that are actual memory upgrades for this machine. Uh, 250 megabyte sticks. I got two of them. I also got two of them which I mailed out to Koga today for him to be able to upgrade his system, load Windows 98 on it, etc, etc. Uh, here's the original 128 megabyte RAM stick that was in it. You know when it came. Here's the original video card. It's a number 9 uh, AGP 8 megabyte S3 card and we upgraded that to a NVIDIA MX420 64 megabyte card which is running on PCI because locally I couldn't find anything better than that so I'm using a PCI video card for now. And then originally this had a 800 megabyte um, Caviar Western Digital hard drive in it, and we've upgraded that to a Western Digital 80 gigabyte. Uh, but we've got Windows 98 set up here, and one thing I want to show you real quick is I want to actually 
reboot, go into this exit into DOS mode, and show you that the one thing that's cool on this is that you can play games that are both specifically made for DOS or specifically made for Windows from anywhere from about you know 1985 through the 2002 series of games. So this gives you a huge range of kind of retro capability of what you can do with this machine. So what it's going to do now is it's going to reboot into a DOS mode instead of Windows, which is using a DOS shell. It's not official DOS 6.2. It's kind of a Windows 98 kernel version of DOS that when you type version into the command prompt, it actually comes back and says that it's, you know, Windows 98 version, whatever, uh, which is this information here. So if we type ver, you can see that it's Windows 98, not DOS 6.2. But uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do on this. One thing I have installed is the original System Shock game for DOS. And I want to show that to you guys real quick, just to show you kind of, you know, what your capabilities are and how well it runs. So Koga, your system's capable of all this too, bro. All you got to do is find you a cheap AGP video card uh, for sale online, either on Craigslist, you know, Facebook garage sale or whatever. Um, I was able to, on the cost of upgrades on this, guys, I was able to upgrade the RAM including shipping off eBay for about 25 bucks. I was able to upgrade the video card locally for about 15 bucks and then upgrade the hard drive locally for about 20 bucks. So all in all, it's a pretty cheap system. You know, the kind of the most expensive part of it was having it shipped to me. But yeah, I mean, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. So I mean, uh, one thing is if you're running a really old game, you may have to go into the BIOS of the system and you may have to disable the processor cache to make the processor execute commands a little slower so that you don't get uh, games that look like they're running and fast forward all the time. But, you know, all that's possible with these older systems and it's what's great about these Pinion 3s. So for Koga, you said, you know, what do you know about these Pinion 3s? Bro, I know a lot. Now it's time to show what you know. So the challenge is out, the gauntlet's been given. Let's see what you got, Koga, my friend. Ninji out.